Hola, hello. Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Today I'm having some fun. I'm doing something that's completely new. At least it's new to me. Um, I saw an artist the other day do flip cups just in every incredible direction on a huge canvas. And I wondered, what if we did them all towards a particular zone? So we're going to be flipping from this corner to this. So we're going to be doing these flip cups. Let's see what happens. It could look great. I love trying new things. All right, so here we go. These are little two ounce shot glasses. This is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I have all of my paints, most of my paints here that I've pre-mixed. They're all mixed with a Floetrol, Gluol, and water. 50% Floetrol, 30% Gluol, 20% water. And that's what I have. I have some mixed golds, mixed the same way. Different, I say mixed golds because they're different brands in here. And I've thinned them out just a little bit more. And so why don't we get to filling our little cups. I'll put them all down here. And we'll just kind of get on with having some fun here. I was also thinking, you know, do I add some silicone? I don't really want to add silicone. But the other thing I was thinking was, you know, sandwich pour. So I think I'm going to put black as my bottom layer in all of these. Not a lot of black, just, you know, pretty much enough to cover the bottom. Because I would like some in all of them and I may top it with white. So we'll sandwich the colors in between the black and the white. So I'm going to layer these. It's not really getting in the way. I'll let that go. And because these paints are a little bit thicker, they're just pouring right on top really nicely. A little stream. Nothing's mixing. They're making a beautiful layer. done with the colors for the most part. I don't think I'm going to put any more white, but we have it in case we need some. And I'm just going to pour our gold in from up high and let it blend through. Here we go. Little drop in there. I might have not enough in my cup. I'm going to have to mix a little bit more. Let me grab my little bottles. I have my 24 karat gold, just a little squeeze, and my mixed golds. 
little squeeze. And a tiny bit of water. I'm just literally just going to do a couple of drops because I don't need a lot. Just to thin it out a bit. And that's all we have. Throw the rest of it on here. And that's it. All right, so let's get our cups in our position. <laughs> this is where they're going to go. And let's see if I can flip them over nice and neat. Here we go one, two, three, flip. Three. Flip. Move this over. Get our corner flip. Spilled a little. And there we are. And now we wait for just a minute just to see how it's going to look. Crossing my fingers. All right, and I'm really kind of want to go from here first. But I have a feeling I maybe should do the sides first. <laughs> no, we're going to go this corner first. One, two, three. Nice. Okay. One, two, three. Two, three. Ooh, that one's all gold. So down there. Didn't need quite as much paint, but wow. Wowza. Cups aside here. I think that's going to be nice. Let's just wait on that and give it a little torch. I'm expecting a few cells out of that gold paint. It's really taken over on this portion of the painting. But we have to wait and see. We have one stubborn, stubborn air bubble right there. There it is. So I'm just gonna yeah. put these together. And I don't mind that, I mean, look at those bands of color that have come out. That'll look kind of cool. All right, here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dave's coaching me a bit on the camera work. Towards me. And we're going to tilt corner to corner, a little angle, just to fill in. Towards this to your right. Okay. I really like the way that, that one looks. 
so far. And so these corners I have to decide because I really don't want to lose our diagonal motion. So we will fill in the corners with our leftover paint. And I kind of like that color for down here too. Nope, we'll use this one. I like it. We have one spot right here that's not filled in. And I think I'm just going to pour a little drop of gold on there. I can see there's a lot of gold right here. And we'll just pull the design over. Grab the paper towel. So we'll just pull that design over the edge using our little trusty skewer, which I'm cleaning off. So just like this. And even with the orange, oops, a little bit of paint on my skewer. Got some red and orange that was on the surface there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to leave that. I don't mind that at all. Our corners need a little paint on them, so I'm just going to touch those up. That looks pretty good. That corner is perfection. Wow. All right. And give it a little torch, and then we're going to tilt it again. Not for any particular reason of the design. The design is great. But tilting it again, just to check how much paint is on here because we certainly don't want to leave too much paint behind and then it cracks. So we will tilt one more time just to be certain. A few really difficult air bubbles here. So I'm going to pop those manually before we tilt anymore. All right, so we will check now on our paint thickness. See how it moves very, very little? That's what we want, very, very little. I will pour it in that direction a bit. And then in this direction, just a little bit. But 
that's good. We do not have too much paint. That should dry really, really well. It's a little bit more gold than I want down here, but that actually could look a little different when it dries. There's red under there trying to get through, and it may actually show a little bit more when it's drier than it does now. Having difficulty with air bubbles. And that's another thing too when you mix different brands of paint. You have different chemistry and you know, things happen. <laughs> and things are happening here. I think I'm going to grab my little spray bottle of rubbing alcohol and see if we can get rid of some of the rest of those air bubbles. So this is regular rubbing alcohol, 70%. takes care of some of the really, really small air bubbles. Yeah, I like it. I'm really happy with the way this one is. It's weird in a really, really good way. All right, we're gonna call this done. I'll set it aside to dry. Show you guys the dried one at the end of the video. All right, thanks again for watching. Always appreciate it. And uh, go experiment. Try something new with your paints. You know, flip a cup in a different direction. You never know what will happen. It could be great. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.